hello everybody welcome back to my channel today <laughs> it's a weekly reading vlog but it's more of like a two week weekly reading vlog i'll explain in a second So hi, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, it is a fine, what is it? Thursday afternoon. I just got back from visiting my grandmother yesterday. I'm tired, but that's why there's no vlog footage to then from the weekend. Words. Um, I have no other time to film this, so here we are in the perfect cloudy lighting that is Texas USA and um first off gotta thank the sponsor of this video and then we're gonna explain why I am the way I am so like I said gotta thank the sponsor as always and this wonderful beautiful amazing mystical sponsor is Boxu. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of premium Japanese snacks right to your front door every month. They will have, like I said, Japanese snacks, but they also include some tea pairings. Each month is a different theme. These boxes are shipped straight from Japan, so you can experience these authentic Japanese snacks right to your door every month. I personally really like having these boxes next to me when I am reading that's actually something that me and my partner have started doing together is we when we have our like little reading dates we will sit on the couch or sit in bed or sit in one of our offices with our reading nooks and we will split some of the snacks because usually there are at least a big package of one if not two packages of things in there and you can just share them with someone so that's kind of what we do we just sample a little bit of everything each time and then we eventually make our way through the box and then by the time we have made our way through the next one's already happened to uh, be delivered so it's really great timing but also it's really a fun experience because then we also have the little flip through notebook that they give you to tell you about everything where you can see exactly what it is you loved and you can go order more of them so we have already started to add more to our cart and we are gonna place an order soon of all the ones that we've really liked because not only are a lot of boxu's snacks really good but they're also very healthy and really good replacements for some of the other things that we like to snack on while we're reading like ice cream not the best for you apparently so i've been told so we've been switching it up and ugh, let me just tell you they have so much matcha in here it just it makes my heart happy and actually for the month of june only they have given me a code latte 20 i'll put it here i'll put it down below so that you can actually get 20 percent off of your first snack box instead of the typical 10 so definitely make sure that you take advantage of this very very limited time offer and head down there head to boxu use the code try it out have all the snacks it's a great time so thank you so much for boxu for sponsoring this video and without further ado let's get into why i am the chaotic mess that i am <laughs> okay so i started a weekly vlog last week and i was like okay this is gonna be fine. We'll just do Monday to Friday. It was the last week of school. I should have thought like something was gonna go wrong and I was doing it, trucking along. But then I realized I'm not gonna vlog that weekend because I'm going to my grandma's and then our like everything I rearranged, it was a whole mess. So I didn't get back until yesterday instead of the actually like regularly scheduled plans and we basically have half of a week and half of a week and we're just gonna merge them together so yes i'm still gonna label the days so it's not too confusing other than this one because this is like the intro to explain why the heck everything's gone awry but you are gonna see me from the past or past yes that makes sense not grammatically but theoretically and then we will speed back up to the now okay okay so let's go back and then I'll, I'll catch you in like, I don't know, God, probably like 30 minutes. I talk so much, you know.
Hello, welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. What day is it? It is, it is June 8th. I am so tired, but we are going to see The Conjuring tonight. So very excited for that. Jake is panting right off screen because he won't just go drink water. I don't know why, but he won't. But uh, yeah, so that's happening. Oh, and now he's, okay, great. Okay, love, breaking update. So I am currently reading two things right now. Let me see where I'm at with the audiobook, News of Nightmares. Okay, so I'm 17% in. I know that I just passed chapter 11, so let's like update the uh, bookmark or whatever. So here we are. So I am 87 pages in to Muse of Nightmares. This is, like I said, the audiobook that I'm gonna be listening to and I am enjoying it so far. I really like that we're getting more of, is it Theon's point of view? I thought he was kind of interesting in the last one. He was kind of aggravating. I mean, obviously, for obvious reasons, I think. But um, yeah, I am interested to see more of his point of view and his take on things, I guess, how he's dealing with things. And then uh, who's the, is it Ruby? Ruby is the one that has firepower. I don't like her. I can't stand her. I have sympathy for the kids considering what they've gone through, all that, you know, yes. But she is just annoying. Like what I just read, not a spoiler, she's annoyed that the person she likes didn't spy on her whilst bathing as she was about to do to our main character. What the heck? And she thought that meant that this person that she likes didn't care. Like it's just so, so ridiculous. And I'm like, Lainey, let's not make that a plot line, please. Okay, then I'm also reading A Dark and Hollow Star. This is for the Patreon buddy read of the book club I'm hosting with Mel. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna stop saying the book club name because even with the Google Translate lady, I literally copied her. Someone said I did it wrong. So I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna say it's the Patreon book club. On mine, it's the Ice Caramel Macchiato tier book club. There you go. <laughs> That's what it's called. But I have made it to page 101, so hopefully while I'm waiting for my partner to get home, I will make more progress in this. On the live stream, Mel pointed out that she saw that I was tabbing it, and I I really never do tab sprayed books other than black sprayed edges because I think it looks cool with the neon tabs that I use. But this book is too good to not, and I'm loving the world building. And someone asked me why I annotate or tab. Um, it helps me to focus better. So like with my students, I encourage them to try out different kinds of annotation styles. So either writing things down, post-it notes, taking notes, taking notes in the book, or just putting tabs like this. And it just promotes interacting with the text and it promotes rereading what you're annotating. So I don't physically write in my books. I want to, but I think that'll be something I only do for books that I absolutely adore and want to reread. Like The Diviners is what I'm going to write in. But for me, because I will read something and then I really like it so that I put a tab next to it and then I reread it again, it helps to solidify new characters, character traits, world building, political building, because this is a lot of politics in it, which is how I like my fantasy. So that's kind of why I annotate. It's not, I think, interesting enough to actually make a video of it. I mean, I, I can make a video if you guys would like. I have one that's up. It's very old. It's not current and it's not currently how I annotate, but if you just want kind of a gist of how people tab their books, I guess it's there, but there are better ones out there for sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's mainly to get myself to interact with the text more and remember things and retain things better. That's, that's really all it is. And then also on standby, I'm gonna have Rebel Spring still, which is the second in the Fallen Kingdom series, but this is really just like, if I get to it. I'm not making it a huge priority because I'd really like to read and finish Muse of Nightmares. I just think that that would be a nice thing to do and help me actually finish a series because that's some of my goals this year is to finish series, not start them. And so far I've just started a lot of them. But aside from that, let's see some book mail. So I do have my Illumicrate box, so I will be unboxing this. And I did get, so I, one of, here's the thing. I really just can not open Amazon packages with this like goal that I have. So I have an Amazon package here. I ordered a book that's about gay pirates. 
someone related it to The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which is the only book I have ever read that has accurate epilepsy representation. Like, I really loved it. I thought that epilepsy representation was so good and it made me cry. So, I really liked that. It's also gay. And so now someone recommended it on Amazon. If you liked that book, then this book may be for you. So I have it. I don't know if it's in that box or if it's in this box that just showed up. So guess what's gonna happen? Neither box is being opened today. Uh, I'm just gonna save them both and we will see when we see, right? Right. Okay, so that's it for the bookish updates if that's what you were here for. Boot scoot boogie on out. Now we're gonna unbox the Aluma Great. Okay, so let's get into the box for this month. My little pamphlet is. I cut into it by accident and it's crinkly, but that's okay. So this month was Change Your Stars. Yeah, it's really crinkled. And we're not gonna look at it unless I need to because I don't know what something is. Which, great, I already don't know what something is. I know what it technically is. So this is a tea tin. I use these, I use these little guys. They just have like this little opening of stuff into them. Um, this is a beautiful version of one. I have two already. I use them to store tea bags in that I use for loose leaf tea that I get from my Sips by boxes. And so this one is inspired by <gasps> the mythical creatures in the David Bud trilogy. That is a trilogy. I'm actually trying to finish this week. No, not week. It's right there though. Kingdom of Kappa is right there. Um, no, I'm trying to finish it this month. Also, this is a new little sleeve thingy. I like that. But here's a little notebook. Ideas are so much wilder than memories. This is from B.E. Schwab, I'm guessing, by the flowers and memories part. It's something to do with Adi LaRue. Oh, this paper is beautiful. Mm, I like this. I don't know what I would use this notebook for, but I'm definitely saving this and I'm going to use it because that is freaking gorgeous. And then here we have a pin. It's a really beautiful enamel pin. What are you? Oh, I think, is this a key? Oh my god, okay, so this is their first key in our latest collection inspired by Skyward and can be used to gain access to Mbot. Oh my god, Skyward is probably my favorite sci-fi. I haven't read a lot of sci-fi, like straight up sci-fi, but so far it is my favorite sci-fi that I've read because it's so it's fun and it's fresh no um but it's fun and intense and comical it just like gets me in my feels it's just so well done if you haven't read it i highly recommend it and then next we have the monthly enamel pin which is to go along with the actual book for this month don't know why it's having such a hard time focusing so I guess this is not gonna focus, but it is pretty. Just take my word. So this month's book came in a book sleeve and this one looks wintry. So it's inspired by the castle in spinning silver. So this is beautiful. Illumicrate book sleeves. Out of all the book box book sleeves that come out, these are my favorite because this material is just so unique. It's like a pleather kind of material and they always do actual like bookish prints instead of just like patterns and fabric, you know? So I just really love them a lot, but let me unwrap this book. Okay, so this month's book is the Jasmine Throne. We've got these beautiful stenciled edges. It goes all around the book, which is really awesome. I don't think they've done that before. If they have, I don't recall, but this is a chunky book. I'm assuming this is a fantasy, probably a high fantasy, judging by who has blurbed it. And then, I mean, look at it, we've already got maps. You know I'm into it. I don't know anything about this one. I have not seen it, but somewhat, oh, it's by Orbit. I love Orbit. Orbit is always doing doing good but um someone in my discord was talking about how they got it and they were excited and they wanted to add it to their tbr like right away and as soon as they said that i was like oh what is this book i need my box now and 
lo and behold, I got my box literally the next day. So perfect timing. Um, I definitely have to look more into that, but also I'll probably just look into people's reviews because y'all listen, I say it all the time, but if you're new here, hi, I'm Olivia. I don't like to go into books knowing pretty much anything. So anyways, that is my update for now. I am now going to go probably watch a couple YouTube videos because a couple people that I love put some videos up today. And I might check where the heck my partner is because our movie is in an hour and 20 minutes. Very excited for the popcorn. Honestly, I'm excited for the popcorn. It's just, I love movie theater popcorn. That is the thing that I miss the most about the movies was getting the popcorn and the Sour Patch or watermelon and just living a great life. So that's what we're gonna go do. Come with me, why don't you? Look at my needy assistant. What are you doing? She says, I am watching the enemy. And Jake is like, I am watching the door. I guess should have been arms of the end. My heart. It's raining down, baby. I'm like a river that's over flood. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. Okay, hi everybody. So it is currently 510 on Thursday afternoon. I am about to go feed the babies and then I'm gonna get on the treadmill for a little bit, but I got a lot of cozy mysteries for my Kindle yesterday that I wanted to do kind of like a Kindle haul. Um, I don't really see anybody on YouTube do Kindle or audiobook hauls, although I do still like listening to those and watching those. Um, the only person I watch that does that is Peta from Peter Likes Books, who's actually the reason that I've really gotten into Cozy Mysteries. So I hope you guys like them. I wish people did them more because then, I don't know. I just like book hauls of any variety, but I feel like my most realistic book haul is a Kindle haul other than I probably should film another book haul soon to be honest because I've got a huge stack building up right here but <laughs> typically this year I've been trying to buy more e-copies just to kind of cut down on how many physical ones because I have to also film a unhaul soon which I will be doing probably the end of June. For A Dark and Hollow Star, I have gotten up to chapter 10, which I know is not that far but I'm hoping to get to like a page 150 tonight or so maybe while I am walking or whatever but I'm really liking it. I really like how close it is to actual fairy and folklore where they're not good and they're not just kind of like ooh a little mean. They're like deadly and it involves so many different kind of fae and such a different hierarchy than I've ever seen before. So I'm just having a really good time reading this one. I definitely recommend it if you are a fae person, especially if you maybe can't buy into high fantasy as much. I think some urban fantasy would probably be a good way to like introduce yourself to it. For the cozy mysteries that I bought, the first one that I got is actually on Kindle Unlimited and it is Live and Let Chai. I got this one. Honestly, these are all cover buys and pun buys because Cozy Mysteries are really cheap <laughs> or on Kindle Unlimited, which is even cheaper. So this one was a buy because I like chai and I liked the pun. Then I have Death Overdue, which from what this one I know is um, from Peter as well, because this is a girl who moves to this town and takes over being the librarian, I guess, of this book, either a librarian or a bookstore worker. And she has either it's the owner or the librarian previously passed away and is now haunting the bookstore and talks to our main character to help solve these mysteries, which just sounds really fun. Then I also got Mimi Lee gets a clue and this one, I y'all, I have a physical copy. It is solely because <laughs> of the cat on the cover, which is exactly what I said when I hauled it the first time, but this one was on sale, so I bought it. 
then I also got a deadly inside scoop this is an ice cream shop mystery which just sounds adorable I'm really just testing out a bunch of different cozy mysteries seeing what my favorite is then I got one poison pie this is a witch craft bakery cozy mystery which again I like the idea and then another one that I got which was a daily deal yesterday it's not a cozy mystery it's more of a contemporary mystery-ish thing more lighthearted is Siri who am I so apparently this girl gets into a car wreck or some kind of accident and she forgets who she is and I think they use her phone to try to see who she is based on like Instagram and stuff like that so it just sounds like a interesting story because I really like that books are starting to use more technology within their stories and social media like with this one it uses it mentions like youtube and instagram and like the goblin market is actually held in a huge shopping mall center which is really funny to me i just i like those little touches and another reading update i also bought swamp team 3 which is the fourth book in the misfortune mystery series by janet de Leon. this is the one that i've been talking about in reading I really think this is a perfect series to start right now because there's like five, six, or seven-ish books that are set in the summertime into autumn. So if you started it now and read like one a week, which is the rate at which these crimes and murders happen in this town, which is hilarious to think of just because like in sense of these being published, it wouldn't seem that close together. But realizing that three people just died in three weeks and then one of their friend's houses got lit on fire and someone committed arson to try to kill them the week after that, like the week that they don't have a murder is just like, wow, this town's going through a lot. Uh, I just think it's like, it's not funny because of what it is, but it's funny in the sense of like, this is ridiculous <laughs> and this does not happen. But I'm really enjoying it. I think it's good because the ones that are set in fall are going to start coming up soon for me. And those are the ones I want to get to because I feel like it feels kind of like a rom-com murder mystery show and every book is like an episode. And so it feels like they're more mini series and the episodes are very long, you know, like an hour, an hour and a half or whatever. But that's just because I'm reading them physically probably but I really like it it's really good and there's a romance element getting introduced between fortune and someone who is like a grumpy grumster I love it I'm having a good time I'm having a good time and the thing I complained about the most at the beginning of this series was that fortune was very much not like other girls I'm different I don't like to get my hair done I don't like to wear makeup I don't like to get my nails done mm -mm -mm. I'm so weird and quirky and I just like spying and espionage but she's kind of starting to lay off of that and realize that oh people can be multifaceted they can like multiple things wow interesting what a concept and I just like it so yeah sorry I keep looking down at this stack of packages that I really just what am I doing what am I doing ginger oh I do have another package it's this giant one from Amazon this one is two picture frames because I have some more pictures to hang up because let's see if you can see it right here I just bought a art print that's from the same person who did this one which is a my favorite murder stay out of the forest um print which is one of their quotes if you followed him hello getting nice and close to ya but uh i bought one that is basically a map of a town but it, all of the houses and buildings on it are from horror movies mystery mur thrillers murder movies all that kind of stuff and so i just think it's gonna look really cool and i'm gonna put it over here to just kind of fill this area up some more but I have two so I'm hoping I do have some other prints from like a Luma crate and fairy loot that maybe would fit in here but it's it's a big print so I don't know don't know if that'll work but it has a mat in it so maybe it'll work we're gonna try it out after I turn this off and we'll just see and if I hang it up I will obviously show you but other than that I am going to go feed the kids and put those prints away and that's, that's, that's about it. Then I'm going to keep reading A Dark and Hollow Star for the night. And maybe I'll walk. I don't know. I'm not really in the mood to walk. It was the last day of school. I don't know if I mentioned that. But I am just, like, exhausted. And we have, teachers have one more day. We have to report tomorrow to, like, clean out our rooms and do, like, this end of year checklist thing. But after that, we are free. Which is great because I need a break. I need a break. I need a break. Also, we're announcing the Summerween on Saturday, which I am excited about. It's 
It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Gabby found these like amazing TikToks uh, that we're using to put like countdowns on Instagram. So yeah, I'm just, I'm very pumped. I'm excited to daily vlog it. I'm excited to just experience it again. Like, ugh, so yeah. I will talk to you guys later though, because I've got to go. Okay, hi, did you enjoy it? Was it a good time? Hope it was, hope it was, hope it was. Um, let's talk about books. Where are my books? Here are my books. Okay, so. Started some audiobooks, stopped doing some audiobooks, finished some other books. So I actually finished two books this past weekend, so that's another two down for the vlog. Great. Uh, the first one was Swamp Team 3, which is the I believe I always want to say third book but I think it's the fourth book in the cozy mystery series that I've been absolutely obsessed with lately and here it is it's this one right here I gave this one another three stars it wasn't as I don't know why maybe I was just more in love with what well, oh mm, well actually now hold on uh, the murders were more intense and awful in the first two books and I gave those four stars and then the third and the fourth book didn't have that and I gave them three no need to examine that, but I did really still have a fun time with this. I really do recommend it, especially if you have not swan dove into the world of cozy mysteries. It's just so much fun. It's so lighthearted and funny, but you also have the mystery and there is like the romance is starting to heat up a little bit more. And I really like that it's just like a little subtle plot line that's woven throughout all of the books versus it being the main thing. Because what I was worried about is sometimes with books or shows where the romance is not the main plot. Once that romance starts going, it then becomes the main plot, but that did not happen here. So I'm hoping it sticks out. I'm hoping that it doesn't. It's still fairly slow burn if you think about it. I mean, it took four books for them to like do what happened in the fourth book, which isn't... that was phrase wrong. <laughs> it's not even that deep. They like held hands, but still. I ship it. I love it. So the next one that I finished was the second book in the Fallen Kings, Kings? Foreshadowing. Kingdoms series, which is Rebel Spring. This one I gave another five stars because these books truly are just phenomenal. They are just such a fun read. I'm debating with Gathering Darkness, which is the third book, if I want to do audiobook while I catch up on some back planning and my sticker planner or if I want to physically read it. I'm not really sure because I have so many other books that I need to read and we'll talk about that in a second because I have another crazy plan that I came up with that I'm doing tomorrow that I just, I don't know why I am the way I am, but it doesn't look like it's changing. Uh, the one book that I have not touched since I left was Muse of Nightmares, so this is gonna continue on. I still like it, but I decided to pick an audiobook that was more fun and something that I had already read so honestly that I didn't have to pay attention as like seriously closely I guess that doesn't sound great but it's the truth um so what I picked up instead was Caraval by Stephanie Garber this is one of my favorite series I know it's not for everyone I know there's like a lot of mixed feelings on this but I'm here to tell you that they're all wrong and that I'm right as naturally it occurs. Uh, no, but seriously, I really do like this one, especially if you like flowery, overly like aesthetic writing. This is great. It, it's, it's just great. It really appeals to the senses. If you like um, Kingdom of the Wicked, how it really appeals to visually and I almost said nostrally, <sighs> your sight and your smell and your taste. <laughs> Those senses are really, really done well in this writing. I really like it. It's not flowery in the same way Lainey Taylor's writing is. It's not so heavy on the metaphors. It's more heavy on the, this doesn't really make sense, but I like the words strung together as they are, and I do like that you use so many colors and so many different shades of colors to describe emotion for some reason. That's this writing style, and I know it's not for everyone, but it's for me. 
and I'm enjoying it. So I am actually exactly 50% of the way through this one, listening to the audiobook. The audiobook is actually quite good. I did not realize. I listened to Legendary and Finale on audio. Well, no, wait. Just Finale, because when we drove down to Austin to see her for the Legendary book signing, I did not... Um, listen to the audiobook. I read the physical because I somehow got an arc. I like still don't even know. But this one is what I'm doing right now. And I did start, you know, the fifth one in that cozy mystery because I think I'm just gonna have those going like in the background just in case I need to fall back on something. But we have some unboxings to do. So uh, I'm gonna put in a clip right here. Let's look at it together. Can you believe this? Like this is what I'm looking at right now. I don't even know um, what's happening. A lot of these I did buy. Some of them I did not. I also got an email from the P.O. Box that I need to address my P.O. Box, which it already has an address, but whatever. No, we're not... No dad jokes, Olivia. No dad jokes. It's too early in the morning. The people don't need these at 9 a.m. True. So, let's talk about book sleeves because my summer wing book sleeves just got in. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so I think that this first one might be my favorite, but first of all, let's just talk about Rachel. For Ra ooh, Rachel mm, is amazing. I freaking love her so much. We have the exact same reading taste. We were just talking about this on Instagram. We seriously have the exact same reading taste when it comes to thrillers and horrors. She's gonna reread A Southern Book Club, and I think I'm gonna reread Best Friend's Exorcism because I just got that uh, itch to read that. I just read Southern Book Club, um couple months ago I reread it, but also I'm gonna read Final Girl Support Group, I think it's called. I just love Grady Hendrix, so I might do both. But anyways, I'm just, I'm just, you know, a stan club for Rachel. I love her. I adore her. She's great. And her book sleeves are probably my favorite book sleeves because they're so padded, but they're also just, they have the cutest freaking designs. And listen, I have not shown my book sleeve collection in a while. I don't know if I plan to. It's quite, how do you say, a lot. We don't need to address that right now. What we need to address is my favorite one. So the Happy Corners are probably my latest obsession. I just want all of them because first of all, they're so cute and little. They're like little fabric swatches. But the way that you put them on your book is just, I, I don't know why I'm obsessed with it, but you just slide it down the corner like this and then it just sits there. It's just great. What the heck? Like, I just love them. I wish that those were everywhere. Well, now they are because I bought so freaking many in the last release, but I just keep finding them all over my house. I don't know. I need to find somewhere to store them. Honestly, that's what I need to do next. But here is the book sleeve that matches it. So you get this big old pocket. This is where I put my um, tabs when I'm reading. Or honestly, sometimes if I am going out, I put a book here and then I put my Kindle here because I'm like, you never know what you're going to need. And then you have the inside. So this one's going to have an orange inside. It's just... I love these colors. I love that it's kind of like a pastel Halloween look. And then the next one that we have is a pink bat so you know you have the happy corner the exact same way as the other one and then here and inside there is a dark interior to kind of go against the lightness that is this but you still have pockets and look at like look how well the color scheme I'm so freaking excited the color scheme it goes together like so well i love these i love these so much and then we have the final one, which is a, I think like a f cottage core skeleton. <laughs> when I saw the fabric on there, I was like, okay, first of all, we need this spooky one. But also it kind of is like a floral cottage core skeleton look to it. I just think they all look so good together. I think that they all match really well. And I'm just, I'm just excited about them. I'm just really, I am so freaking excited for this summer weed. We've already talked about it, you guys. You already know. I'm going to be daily vlogging it this year. I hope other people are going to be daily vlogging it so that I can watch them while I'm editing my own vlog. Like, it's just, <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. But yeah, so these are the sleeves. If you wanted to grab some of the pre-orders, should have already happened actually by the time this goes up so whoops but if you ordered them here you go now you can see what they looked like but if there are extras she is gonna put them up in our etsy shop so make sure that you follow her on instagram just to check see if extras are made 
but I still wanted to unbox them because I just think they're beautiful. I really do. Okay, and then the final thing <laughs> that we have to unbox. Sorry, this is like the longest clip ever. Um, I have my fairy loot box, so yeah, let's unbox it. But I just got these nails done. I don't want to open it with my nails because they're like, look at these. Do you see these? Aren't these like the cutest nails you've ever seen in your life? Yes, they are. But how do I open this then? Oh, there's a pencil. Oh, God. Ow. Okay. Let's see if this works. This isn't the best idea, but I don't remember where I put my scissors. Okay. I broke the pencil. I, I, well, you know what? I don't know where I put the scissors, but they're about to be found. Uno momento. Okay, first of all, before I sit back down, do you like this shirt that I just got? Uh, it's a little oversized, but I kind of like it, but I like this. Okay. Anyways, literally doesn't matter. Here we go. Here's the box. There is a cup in here, and I'm really excited because I love cups. I love them. I love them so much. But the first thing I pull out is this. And it says it's a wooden phone stand, which actually I remember talking trash about this before because I got one in another box and I was like, what am I going to do with this? But I, let me tell you, let me freaking tell you that I use it all the time. So probably I cannot remember for the life of me how to put this mess together, but oh, I just did it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is really cute. I love these stands. Like, I really thought that I was not going to use it nearly as much as I do. Ooh, and this one's even bigger. That could honestly fit my iPad. I could have an iPad stand in every room at this point. I have one that Katie bought me. Then I have one that I bought me. Now I have this one. Like, wow. Wow. Capitalism, baby. <laughs> From now until the darkness claims us. Oh, it's so cute. And there's like little dragons. I don't know if you can see it very well because you know it's a freaking clear cup but we have a straw look at it oh my gosh I love it I can put it right next to my um cruel prince one am I gonna actually use it I don't know I get nervous because I don't want to ruin it you know Ooh, and then we have a coaster set which I just really like that Fairy Loot and Illumicrate are furnishing my house because we need coasters everywhere in every room. And now I have them because of these book companies. So here's this man. Here's another man. Here's a woman. And here's an... Oh, she's really pretty. So there we go. Those are the people. I don't know who they are. Yeah, I read the book when it first came out can't remember. I think there's a Lou and a Big Titty Liddy and Reed? Is that the order of characters? It's the order of characters in my heart. Oh dear, they won't fit back in there. Why we'll is that? So then next up we have Roll the Dice, a reading list game. I don't really play book games, so I don't really know how this works. But there's this paper. Oh, and there's a die in here, I guess. So I guess you roll this dice and then whatever number it lands on. You know, that's not a bad idea. That might be a cool idea to incorporate into a monthly TBR. Like, roll the dice for a few of these to pick your... Or you could write your TBR on this and if you don't know what to read, then you roll the dice and let, honestly, fate decide. Not a bad idea. Or I guess let fairy loot decide, but again, not a bad idea. So I've heard nothing but good things, first of all, about this book, but also about the edition of this book. So I'm very excited to open it up, get into it. Oh my god. Okay, who are these people? Because they are gorgeous. I don't know if I got a little notebook that answers all my questions that I have. Let's see. Who are you? Oh, they're inspired by Serpent and Dove again. Wow, we're really like into Serpent and Dove lately, aren't we? But here they are. I don't know who they are, but the the cards are really pretty, so that's cool. And then we have, is this from Crave? It looks like it is. We have this art print. I was thinking about doing a Crave um, reading vlog and reading all three of the books that are currently out. I think that'd be fun because it sounds like it's a freaking mess and I love mess. So I might do that soon. I'm not really sure. 
but that's beside the point. Who are you? Nice to meet you. I don't know who he is, but let's find out. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh my God. This looks like a classic. So, okay, I couldn't tell. First of all, I totally spoiled myself for this on Instagram because I was like, so help me if this is another naked dust cover, like no dust cover and naked hardback book, I'm gonna literally like lose my shit. But it's not. It's just this really pretty edition. And it has that on the spine, which I like because then I can tell what the heck the book is. This book is so small. I love the UK editions of books because they're so tiny and petite but then you have stenciled edges and they go all of the way around. Is it signed? Oh, it is. Oh, it has a really pretty signature insert. I like it. And then on the inside, we have these two beauties. So I, I'm into this. I really like this edition. Everyone on Instagram was absolutely correct. I saw it at first. I thought it was a naked hardcover. And I was upset and someone said it's not and I was like, okay, but I'm gonna tell you right now I just <laughs> Penciled in the equation and the math is not adding but now it makes sense It makes sense that the cover just has a plain little thing, but it's so gorgeous Oh my god I need to figure out how to get pictures to like capture foil this well because like I love how shiny that you can totally see that it is on camera Okay, so there we go Here we are just sitting in the car I want you to tell me if you can get far. What was I looking for? Oh, the fairy scoop. Is there anything I Oh, next month's theme. So June's theme actually is animal companions. You already know that is my favorite one. So that box, you can expect items inspired by the Raven Boys, Crescent City, Love, all of these books. The Pride of the Orange Tree, Kiki's Delivery Service, and Kingdom of the Week. Literally every one of those. Two items that we have never featured before. One of them is a Crescent City flower pot. <gasps> a flower pot? Stop. I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose my mind. So the book is gonna be a contemporary fantasy. Is that like urban fantasy? Filled with sarcastic characters, dragons, action, and a dash of romance. Oh my god. So there's gonna be an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, foil embossing on the case, and it's signed. Oh my god. Like, fairy loot. Y'all, fairy loot and Illumicrate are just... <sighs> they just do it, you know? Like, they're just, they, they're just so good. Okay, so my camera just cut me off again. <laughs> so I'll take that as a sign from the good lord above that I have got to go. Um, which, you know... Makes sense, because I need to go film some Patreon journaling stuff and sticker stuff and all, all this stuff. So, I'm going to go do that. Yeah, that's all I got for you. That's what I have. I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs> it, go, go, go. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Do you see this box right now? Also, do you like my, like mom on the porch checking it out looking at all the neighborhood children outfit oh, thank you i really one second okay so it was just morning routine okay so <laughs> hi it is friday i had i almost said friday today I had not planned on updating you guys today because I'm going to be filming a Sister Spooky Secret 24 hour readathon with Mel. But it's not that secret now because I just told you. But I'm not going to tell her that I told you, so it's a secret between us. Shh. Anyways, I'm going to be filming that today. Um, I gave my Patreon a sneak peek. I'll just say for you guys, it, it involves a tent. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing today. So I didn't plan on updating because I was like, well, I'm going to be filming for that. But I figure I, I might as well update you and tell you I haven't read a dang thing. Don't know if I'm going to. I may do some Carnival while I watch uh, this live stream that I missed. Uh, it's on Bookish, Bookish Beth and I'll link it below. But basically what I've come to realize is 
When I was in literature courses, I loved to listen to people's discussions. It actually helped me process what I read and learn better. And I basically like to do the same thing on booktube. I don't like to be in them, but I love to be the audience to them, you know? So that's what I'm doing. I'm catching up. There's like a two and a half hour one that I missed and I am excited. It's all about content warnings and um, Ashley from Bookish Realm was on there, which is exciting because I always love her perspective on things. I love to hear the librarian version because they tie fairly closely to the teacher look on things and I, I just relate to the fact that we have the lens of a reader, the lens of a reviewer, but also the lens of a holder of knowledge. Like we are the ones that gatekeep, not really because the gate's wide open because it needs to be, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm gonna do that, but this is Witch Shadow by Susan Denard. <sighs> the Witch Sun series is one of my favorite series ever. Um, I have staple fantasy that I recommend to people. Fallen Kingdoms and Witchlands. If you like a more magic based specifically, like people have different magic abilities depending on their affinity. This one is for you. But how I got this box, I don't know. And I am about to have a freaking heart attack because I'm supposed to be reading spooky books. I've got three spooky books that I'm reading tonight in a tent and I'm like, how am I supposed to do that when I have this right here? I don't know. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's, you know how my colleague Jennifer sent me something? Well, my other colleague Susan did, so. This is so exciting. Oh, it's talking about her IVF. I follow Susan on, look, look at me calling her Susan like I know her. I follow Miss Denard on Instagram and I just, I can't even look at this book, I'm so excited. I'm literally tearing up. Could be the fact that I keep, every time I look past the camera, I see the Chipotle I just picked up looking at me. That could also make me tear up, but who knows. Wait, what are these? <gasps> Stop. They're character cards. Okay. I'm fine. Oh my god, my blood wit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's just go through them. So we have our one of our main characters. I think this one is Merrick. Was that is is soul? I need to listen. That's the problem though. I like listening to the audiobook of this one because I want to be able to pronounce these names properly when I talk about it. So let me just show, ooh, let me show you the back as well where it tells you the name of the character instead. How about that? That's a smart idea. Love that. This is one of my fave babies. It's just such a bad A. This is my actual favorite. He, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I'm just emotional. It's just, I'm just emotional. I don't know why. I mean, probably because I love all these characters with like my whole heart. No big friggin' deal or anything. But uh, yeah, I cannot believe that Macmillan was like, let's send her this book. I'm literally never letting this book out of my sight. It is so beautiful. Oh my God, there's so many scrunchy. Oh my, it's so big. Oh my god. This is one thing that I love. One of the many that I love about Miss Susan is that they never, they never slack on these covers, first of all. Second of all, the pages are never that, that stupid, really thin. I hate those. I hate the Bible thin pages. It doesn't feel like I read the book. Her and Cassie Clare always keep it those thick. Not even thick pages, just the actual pages. But here... Here it is. Y'all, look how beautiful this is. Oh my god. I was already planning to, like, go to Barnes & Noble, get the book, do a release day vlog. I haven't done a release day vlog since Kingdom of Ash, y'all. Like, I, I want to do a release day vlog, but now I don't know. I mean, do I just still go? 
I suppose I could. It'd be kind of silly. I'm literally in the middle of creating a list for an unhaul video, so no, I should not buy a second copy. No, I should not. But anyways, that's literally all I have. This haul, this is just going to be a book haul vlog, and that's okay. I have finished books since it's two weeks of a vlog, but it just doesn't feel like I have finished that many. So, um, we're not going to dwell, though. There's no reason to dwell. I don't have time. I don't have time to dwell because i got to finish prepping for this 24-hour readathon, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But, um, yeah. I'm just so... I can't believe this is in my hands. Honestly. It's such a beautiful cover, too. But, you know, I really need to... I really need to reread these because there is so much that happened. And I believe the last one came out over two years ago. Maybe it was three years ago. I don't remember. But I need to reread them so that I can actually remember what happened so that'll be on the list of things how do you but I think I'm gonna watch the live show and I'm probably actually going to read physically this edition of Carval so I can continue tabbing it because I did start that and I did not realize I had done that so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah I will talk to you guys later although it may be tomorrow when I'm doing the Patreon reading sprint, so, yeah. Oh, hello. So, hi. How are you guys doing today? Um, I don't love this setup. Is there another thing that I can do? Let's see. Oh, hello. Not much better. Is this zoomed in? That's why. There we go. Much better. Less invasive. Much better. So, I am currently on some Patreon sprints 
we're doing um, sprints for the book club that Mel and I host, like I was saying, and I am listening to A Dark and Hollow Star, but I'm also reading a stack of spooky books for that readathon that I mentioned yesterday. Um, I have some of it filmed, we're still technically in the middle of it, but I decided to listen to some more of that audiobook because I was just kind of in the mood for it. And I have to say, if you're gonna read this book, the audiobook is so good. Mel was right. The book does start to drag towards the middle after about 150 pages or so. It drags a little bit, which it's, it's nothing bad. It's more so that it's just building more of the like issue that's going on in world stuff and political things so like it makes sense and it's not definitely not a bad thing that it's dragging it's just I wish that it just speed up a little bit that's all so aside from that I think I'm going to hop back on I'm gonna organize all of these clips that I have for the vlogs that are currently going on and just get that all ready so that I can have a nice little editing day to motto after I get back from my dad's for Father's Day brunch that we're doing. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's really all I've been doing. I completely scared the heck out of myself with this reading vlog <laughs> that I am in the middle of, the like spooky 24-hour thon. So yeah, I, it's, I think that it's going to be a lot to edit. It's gonna, it's a mess, honestly, but I think it's gonna be a really fun vlog and I am excited for you guys to get to see it. So other than that, I'm gonna go finish up this stuff. I may look at filming a Summerween book tag. I'm not 100% sure, only because I had so many issues with traveling back home that I don't know if I have time to film, edit, and upload that like I wanted to. It would just be later in the week, but I guess it doesn't really matter when I put that video up. But Gabby's is already up, so if you want to go watch the original or Gabby's, I'll link them down below. But I may do that. Not really sure yet, but I definitely am gonna go organize my computer because it's looking like a mess and I do not like it. I like everything in folders, and I like folders in my folders, and folders for my folders that have folders. It's just my favorite thing. So, yeah, I will talk to y'all later when I have more of an update. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. I love the things you said, you said to me, to me, it seems like. So thank you so much for Boxu for sponsoring this video and we'll definitely make sure that you take advantage of this very, very limited time offer and head down there, head to Boxu, use the code, try it out, have all the snacks. It's a great time. See?